Welcome back to this wrist-free yoga flow. Sweep the arms up high to the sky, place your palms together and take them to heart centre into our kneeling position. If you find kneeling uncomfortable, by all means do come to seated. Inhaling and sighing the breath out, exhaling. We're going to take three rounds of breath here, really allowing the body to settle down, to relax and to release. Inhale and exhale. Take the arms out in front and gently mobilize through the wrist. So don't overextend through the wrist, but we're just finding some gentle mobilization just to release those wrists if they're feeling particularly stiff or tight, rolling the fingertips in towards you, opening up those joints. Inhale and exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale, from here, reach your arms above you and tap the back of the shoulders, reach up, tap, inhale and tap, inhale and tap, inhale and tap. Take the elbows out to the side, repeat again, hands to the shoulders, tapping the shoulders, inhaling, open, exhale, inhale, exhale, deep breath in. And then let's take a gentle twist as we exhale, come to center, and then exhale to the opposite side. Repeat, back to center, exhaling, and back to center. Elbows together, take the arms out in front of you to open into cactus. Exhale, arching the upper back into the elbows together, and then opening back out into cactus. Exhale, elbows together. Inhale, open. Exhale, take the arms long and extend outward. So really finding our flow here, opening up the back, opening up through the spine, opening up through the chest, really flowing out and inhaling, opening up the whole body. Roll the shoulders back, taking the arms down by your side, shrugging the shoulders up and out as we come into kneeling position. Sweep the arms up high to the sky and take the hands to heart centre. Ground down in the right shin, taking the left foot forward and then tucking the toes behind you for support. Deep breath in, reach the arms up high to the sky, palms together. Grab hold of the right wrist and take the arm over to the left side, finding that side stretch. Inhale and as we exhale, take a twist and back to centre. Take hands to heart centre, ground into the back foot for crescent lunge. Inhale, rise. And then from here, exhale, let's take that lovely side stretch again. Maybe taking the left arm down by the side if this feels good for you. Sweep the left arm back up. Exhale, step to the other foot and sweep the arms up high to the sky. Find a gentle back bend here. Exhale, swan dive the body down, taking the hands to the shins for half lift. Exhale, forward fold, hands behind the calves. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands behind the calves. Inhale, half lift. Really lengthening through that back, exhaling and releasing. Soften the knees, coming into chair, tucking the tailbone under. Take the palms together to heart center, taking our twisted chair and opening up. So from here, you could either have palms together, fists together, or you can open into aeroplane. So extending the arms out long, maybe fingertips to the ground, inhaling, and then exhale, take the top arm behind for a twist here. So just taking a half bind, inhale, Rise back up with the top arm, palms together, and then looking down to the ground, we're going to ground into that right leg, stepping the left leg back, still into our twisted lunge, opening up the body, adjusting as you need to. Inhale, unravel the body, reach the arms up high to the sky for our crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Sink the back knee down, Release the shin, take the right left hand and bring over to the right hand side. Inhale back to centre, 
and take our twist to the opposite side, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, rise, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Great work. Tuck the toes in behind you, press out for crescent, reach your arms up high to the sky, gentle back bend here. And then exhale, we're going to sweep ourselves back up, feet together, gentle back bend, exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Now, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can come to fingertips rather than to shins for that half lift. Otherwise, just come back to shins again as before. Releasing back into forward fold. Inhaling into half lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Soften the knees, sweep the arms up into chair, tucking the tailbone under, engaging those arms. And then from here, Let's take the hands to heart center and we're going to take our twist to the opposite side. So coming over to our left side, looking up and really engaging into this twist, opening the arms into aeroplane if you have that as an option and obviously take the top arm behind for that half bind also as an option. I'm showing you both options, either tucking the hand in or to the outside of the thigh, dependent on how your wrist is. Inhale, rise back up with that top arm and then place the hands back together for the twist before we step the right leg back. So ground into that left leg, step in the right leg back, adjust and readjust for your twist if you need to. Inhale and exhale. Don't worry if you fall out of this, just come back at any time. Inhale. And then as you exhale, unravel, take the arms back up to the sky, crescent lunge, deep breath in, and exhale, step forward. Inhale, hands to the sky, gentle back bend again, hands to heart center. Now from here, ground into the left foot, right knee is drawn up. Take your left hand to the outside of the right knee for our twist. And if you want to make this a little bit deeper, extend that right leg out in front of you. Inhaling. And then exhale, release. And we're going to do like a little cartwheel here. So a little bit of a gymnastic type flow into that warrior three. Engage that glute. Flex the back foot. Lengthen the back. Excellent. Really strengthening through that bottom leg. From here, bending the knee, we're going to take some little pulses here, just drawing the knee up and down. So you can be squeezing that glute, really engaging the bottom. From here, extend the leg back out into that warrior three. Take your left hand down to the corner of your mat to your fingertips. When you feel comfortable, open into half moon. And if you would like to use a block, or if you can do this with your hands away from the floor, by all means, please do. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna slowly sit back and come into warrior two. Reverse your warrior, inhale. And then exhale, we're going to roll the hands to the front of the mat, bringing the body to standing, inhale. Hands to heart center, great work. Draw the left knee up in front of you. Take the right hand to the outside of the left leg, left arm behind you, inhaling, exhaling as we extend that leg. Keep that back up lovely and tall. Don't worry if you wobble, don't worry if you fall. And then slowly cartwheeling the arms, bringing the arms out in front of you for warrior three, extend that back leg. Give that bum a little squeeze, lift that leg up a little bit more if you can for me. Great work. Bend the foot and the knee and we're gonna lift that knee up. So extending and opening up, engaging the glute muscles here, strengthening through that bottom leg at the same time. Extend the back leg. And then from here, right hand to the corner of your mat, left arm up to the sky, half moon. Again, take your time. Deep breath in, inhaling and exhaling. Slowly lower the back foot down to warrior two. Inhale, rise, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, let's take the hands to the top of the mat, feet together, sweep the arms up high to the sky. Exhale, bring the hand over to your right side this time, finding that lovely side stretch. 
and then over to the left side. Deep breath in, and as we exhale, sweep the hands up into our chair. Holding into chair here, take the hands to heart center, coming up onto the toes. Now we're gonna come into drinking bird, so send the bottom up to the sky, folding forward through the hips, bringing the body all the way down towards the toes. So we're now looking down towards the toes, staying on those toes. Keep breathing, keep balancing, great work. Slowly sink down into the heels, take the arms out in front of you, palms together into this bear pose. Hold it here, deep breath in. Come back onto the toes. And we're going to look to slowly lower ourselves down. So taking hands in the heart center, and I want you to slowly extend the arms out in front of you, come into your heels and roll up onto your bottom into half boat. Take the arms out to the side, and from here, take a nice deep breath in and let's switch sides. So you are going to be taking the hands underneath the legs, side to side. If you can get more of a twist in, so you're really reaching over, that would be even better as we really engage that core. Inhaling and exhaling. And then from here, back into half boat, we're gonna slowly extend the legs out in front of us and release the body back, balancing on our sacrum, holding it here into hollow body for two, for one, and slowly lower down, great work. From here, take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, draw both feet in towards you. Take the right leg over the left for figure of four pose, drawing the knee in, and then scoop both arms underneath the top leg, so we're taking this forklift hold. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, as you exhale, release the feet forward and then take the twist. So taking your right leg over to your left side and taking your right arm into cactus. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. As you exhale, unravel. Take both arms into cactus as you switch legs. Coming into that figure of four, take the arms underneath for forklift, drawing the leg back in towards you. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release out. Inhaling and exhaling, release the foot down. Now taking your left leg to the right side for this lovely little twist. Nice deep breath in, arms into cactus. Exhaling and releasing any tension in those hips. Inhale, draw the knee back up and let's place both feet down and then take the feet out to the side as we come into happy baby, taking the peace fingers round the big toes and finding that nice little stretch for those inner thighs and groin. Inhale and exhale. Draw the feet back together, give yourself a little hug and then slowly release the legs back down to the mat as we come into our Shavasana, either in the cactus position or arms down by your side. Stay here for as long as feels good for you today, focusing on slowing the breath. I hope you really enjoyed this wrist-free yoga flow. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. If there's anything else that you'd like to see on this channel, by all means, please do comment below. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Namaste.